Welcome to Autocar and today we're going to give you a POV walk around video of the new Royal Enfield Gorilla 450. Now let's get to that name first. This is basically a motorcycle based on the Himalayan 450 platform which means you get the same engine from the Himalayan. Small changes to tuning which we'll get to in a bit. Similar chassis to the Himalayan but of course big changes in that this is a Roadster. 17 inch wheels at both ends and Simpler suspension, it's not a USD fork, it's a telescopic fork. Less travel, of course, in the Himalayan. It's 140 mm at the front and 150 mm at the rear. Now, let's talk about the main differences to the Himalayan. The engine is the same, still 40 horsepower and 40 newton meters of torque, but the tuning is a little different. Royal Enfield says that they've done that to make it a little more reactive at the bottom end. Uh, we cannot give you our opinions right now. The review will go live on the 27th of July, so look out for that. Um, the chassis is also similar, the main frame, most of it is the same, the headstock angle is a little different, it's a sharper steering geometry here. The bike has a new subframe, it's not particularly smaller than the Himalayan in terms of length, but it is different in shape to give the bike its own visual identity. Now, while the Himalayan is quite inaccessible for shorter riders, the new Himalayan at least, this one does not have that issue because this is a 780 mm seat height. Royal Enfield will sell you an accessory seat that's 20 mm higher, so that can go up to 800 mm for taller riders. How this feels, how comfortable it is, rider triangle, seating position, we'll tell you about that in our official review. Another change to the riding position is that the foot pegs have been moved up by about 30 mm and back slightly as well. The handlebar is also about 30 mm lower than the Himalayan and moves slightly back as well. Now, let's take you around and show you some of the visual details on this bike. One important thing is that it now has the biggest tyres of any made in India motorcycle. It's a 160 rear, as you can see there, and a 120 front. These tyres are by Seat, uh, same company for the Himalayan. Himalayan tyres were really good. How these are, again, we'll tell you in the final review. Headlamp is the same as many other Royal Enfields. This is probably the most familiar looking angle of the motorcycle. Uh, you have the same TFT display as we saw in the Himalayan with Gorilla branding and just like the Himalayan it flickers on the camera. Very similar layout. The bike also has two riding modes which you can change from here. For some reason it doesn't want to do that right now. Same switch gear as the Himalayan including that toggle switch. Also same features as the Himalayan in terms of getting maps on the display and things like that. Like the Himalayan, it continues to need you to have your phone screen on for the maps to be cast. But there are a couple of new features in terms of sharing location with others and those features will also go onto the Himalayan. Then we come to the fuel tank. This is the main styling element of the Gorilla 450. That's what it looks like from the back. That's what it looks like from the rider's point of view. And it's got these extensions out here similar to the Himalayan, similar ideology but a different execution. It's a smaller tank. The Himalayan is 17 litres. This is 11 litres. And there are some nice touches as well, like this plastic cladding out here to hide away all the cables. Another point you probably want to know about is the weight. This motorcycle is 11 kgs lighter than the Himalayan. It's 185 kilos, whereas the Himalayan is 196. Most of that weight saving comes from the fact that the tank is smaller. It doesn't have all that stuff around the side. It doesn't have the big windscreen. The wheels are smaller. Since we're giving you a walk around the motorcycle, let's show you what it sounds like. I'll just put it in neutral. Okay. Let us know if you like that sound, if you think it looks any different to the Himalayan. And before we end, I'll give you one final walkthrough of this motorcycle. <laughs> 